Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Star Exterminator. So recently I downloaded and tried the trial version of Star Exterminator and I was kind of blown away. Honestly, it is just night and day difference between Star Exterminator plugin for Photoshop and StarNet++. I first heard about this from James from the DSO Imager channel and then later Logan from Logan's Astrophotography channel also had a video on it and I really had to try it as soon as I saw those two videos. I'm gonna leave a link to those videos in the description below, as well as a link to get the Star Exterminator application plugin for Photoshop. But in the meantime, uh, let's dive in and see what the workflow looks like and my results from using or trying the plugin. So here's our three images. We have the Sulfur 2, the Oxygen 3, and the hydrogen alpha and I went ahead and did a linear fit um, I combined them I did a dynamic background extraction I also did a color calibration and a background neutralization and then I stretched it and I ended up with this and right here in my workflow process I'm going to remove the stars with the, the new star exterminator so in order to do that, you need to save this as a TIFF, and then we're going to go into Photoshop, and we're going to run the Star Exterminator and see what our results are. We are in Photoshop, and we have our image open, and now we're going to run the Star Exterminator, and the instructions from the website uh, say to duplicate the target twice. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to duplicate, say OK, and then we're going to duplicate again and say OK again. Now we need to go to the top layer, which is this one, and then run the Star Exterminator. So we're going to go into Filters and come down to RC Astro and Star Exterminator. And I've got the trial version at the moment. We're going to go ahead and run that and it's going to take a, a couple seconds to run. Star Exterminator is finished and I did notice without even zooming in and I'm going to point it out with my cursor. Right here there is a little bit of a smudge in the image for lack of a better word it's, it's kind of blurred out and that's where one of the bright stars were. Um, but otherwise I think it came out really fantastic in comparison to StarNet++, I, I think this is like night and day difference. And additionally, I don't see any kind of a waffle pattern in here, um, which you would have seen in StarNet. So following the directions after we've applied the Star Exterminator to this layer, we're going to duplicate the layer again. So we've got another copy of it. And we're going to make this copy invisible. So we're going to take the opacity down to 0%. Next, we're going to take the original starless layer, which is this one here, and we're going to change its mode to subtract. And that's going to give us our star mask. Now we'll right click on this and we're going to say merge down. And from here, we could bring this up to the top and we can save this image as our star mask. So I'm going to save as and we'll save this as three instead of two because I've been doing this a few times. That's fine. I don't care about the increased size. And so now we've got that and we can come back to our original one and we can move it back up to the top and we change its opacity to 100% and now we could save this as our starless image. So we'll save as, and we'll make this one four. And say save. 
Now we'll go back into Pixinsight and we will open up three and four. We've got quite a few in here. Here's three and here's four. We'll open them up and we've got our star mask and we've got our we've got our starless. And I was talking about earlier, you could see this right here. And we could go back into Photoshop and fix that. I see one here as well. Um, but let's go ahead and through the process and you could see what it looks like without actually um, taking the time to fix those. So real quick, we're just going to look at the star mask. Um, you could see the magenta colored stars in here and some of the green colored stars from the SHO process. The first thing I'm going to do is invert the star field and I'm just going to run an SCNR uh, at 100% green on it to get rid of the magenta stars and then we will re-invert it and I'm going to run it one more time to get rid of the green stars and bring them back to being uh, their more yellow color. So now we've got some yellow and white stars. We don't really see a lot of blue stars, um, unfortunately, and I might um, be able to bring some of that back by upping the vibrance a little bit in the image. But for now, we're, we're done with the SCNR. Real quick on the star mask before we move on to the other image, what we're going to do is go to all processes and the uh, morphological transformation. And, and just the way it is right here, um, by default, I'm just going to apply this one, two, maybe three times. And that reduced quite a bit the amount of stars and their intensity. And now we're just going to roll that up and save it. And we'll work on our main image. The first thing I did was um, make a color mask and then pull out a lot of the green from around the nebula until I got a nice golden color. And then I added a little bit of blue with another mask. Um, I inverted the image and removed the magenta and a little bit more of the green, actually the blue that was in the shallow to get a little bit more gold to it in this step here. And so now it looked a little bit too red to me. <laughs> so I wanted to go back to the gold. So I added um, a little bit of the B component um, just on the inverted blue area. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of B component as well to the rest of the blue to, to make it a little bit lighter and a little bit brighter. And that is our starless image. So I did a little bit more to the image afterwards. I brought it back into Photoshop and the camera raw filter and I tried to sharpen it up a little bit. Also brought it into Topaz Denoise. Then I finally brought it back into Pixinsight, added the stars back in, and I'll show you that image here in a second. I hope you like this video, I, the small tutorial on the star exterminator. If so, please smash that like button. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.